Yeah, Hi, this video is the before and after hair transplant on the crown area. Um, this client, uh, thank you for allowing me to show what um, the crown uh, hair transplant looked like. And in reality is the crown is hard to do. And sometimes you, you might need more than one surgery to have perfect density. Um, the, the difference with the crown versus the front is the, the front tend to grow better than the crown. Um, we don't know what's the reason why. Sometimes um, maybe the blood supply, we don't know. Or the other one is because the front, the hair grows differently. And so when you, it, it doesn't grow directly to your eye, so you can comb the hair some way, so it hides better in the front. But the crown, when you look at it, it's like a sphere, and the hair grows directly to your eye, so you can look down to the base. So an, an analogy is look at a carpet, it looks straight. Uh, when it's flat, it's perfect. But when you bend the carpet in the sphere, you can see down the root. But I'm going to show the audience what he looked like before. And that was him, uh, just the crown area. And we did around 1800 and something graph. And, change. and this is a year later, before, and a year later. And now, this is his hair, his scalp. Look at that. Excellent coverage for 18 something. Uh, and comb through it. See, and you can part it, and that's his real hair. And, and so, for him, I not only fill in the ball spot here, but we we go down the peripheral area to anticipate the future hair loss. So, we not only fill in the, uh, the ball spot, but we go around the peripheral area for reinforcement. So, this is where his hair now excellent coverage. Uh, 